I'm sorry. I I have more unicorn for you. <laughs> I have more unicorn. I'm so sorry. I have had this bad boy for quite a few days and it's been driving me crazy, but here, here, it's time, it's time. So thanks to my good friend Dave here, he owns the coolest 3D printing like farm ever. He made the coolest 3D printed, this is for like my HG kits, like smaller, it's smaller and compact and everything like that. He also has bigger ones, I will leave his links in the description there, but like, come on, like. 3D printed sanding blocks. I think that's probably the coolest thing. I want a 3D printer so bad. I think they're so neat. The technology is cool. But again, thank you, Dave, for this treat. I also have another kit that he did give me as well. And the coolest little VW bus gachapon. Like, ah, my trip to Japan got canceled. So this is the closest I can get. Uh, but anyways, he went to Gundam Base Taiwan and he got me this bad boy, something that we don't have in the States and something that the pre-order has just opened up for for us. So this is kind of exclusive. So I'm so, 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 so excited to be able to show you guys this. It is so cool. This is going to be the Gundam Base exclusive Unicorn Destroy Mode painting model. What does that mean? We will see what that means when we go in. But as you can guess, it just means we're gonna be painting it. As you're gonna see here, you will see that it's pure white injection. So it means you can paint it whatever way you want. And as you will see here, we have it painted several different ways. So my question to you is, what should we paint it? I get inspiration from everywhere, the weirdest places. I got it from a fish one time. I got it from a beetle one time. I got it from like a weird anime. Like, what should we do with Unicorn? Cause I feel like he deserves something a little bit more special, right? But enough of this jabbering. I will leave all the links in the description as to everything that Dave has, cause you really should check it out. He makes like Destiny guns, Magic the Gathering card boxes, and just, just amazingness, just amazing stuff. So also check out my Instagram community because without it, I would have never met all the amazing people that are on there. And you will not run into someone more appreciative for getting Gunpla than me. I, I can almost guarantee it. So. If you guys have something that you can't get that maybe I can get or some sort of trade or whatever, I will leave my PO box down below and send me a message probably on Instagram so I can see it and we can get a trade going and I would love to help people and vice versa. I would love to get kits that we don't have here in America because Bluefin has been letting me down, my dude. Bluefin, Bluefin, my hobby, my hobby town, my hobby town, USA is where I get all my kits. It is my is my favorite. But even they're having a hard time getting some kits. And so, you know, you guys are what make the world go round. So, if you can help, that'd be awesome. Anyways, let's stop wasting time and let's get into this unboxing. Now, we do things a little bit differently here. So, I'm trying to do this in a much more interesting way than just, here's my box, here's my hands. Let me just, open this for you. Which, by the way, look at how nice Dave was. Are you kidding me? It came all the way over from Taiwan and it's completely fine. Name better service, I bet you can't. But anyways, yes, I am going to, look at this knife. I'm going to cut these bags open so you don't have to hear all the crinkling. So I'm going to cut these open and we will get started on the contents of Gunna Base Exclusive Painting Edition Unicorn. Let's go. Also, please remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, any kind of support help. I am here to entertain. I am here to help people into the hobby. I am here to just be the person that you wanna make fun of because I really like plastic model kits. But anyways, let's go, let's get moving. Ha ha, ha. You saw what the front looks like here. I will put a link in the description as to where you can pre-order this too as well so you can see if it's worth your time. But can't, you, can't, you can't go wrong with Unicorn. I understand why everyone is a little bit tired of Unicorn, but you know, Gunpla is Gunpla, right? Minimal decals. Um, if you want to get 
some decals that are like really cool. I am a huge fan of, all right, the name of the company is so funny. It's called Simp, <laughs> but it's one of my favorite companies that make a bunch of decal sheets and everything like that, as well as a couple of resin conversion kits. They're actually pretty neat. So Sazabee's Real Grade has a Simp resin conversion kit. I'm pretty sure they have one for the Verka as well. So honestly, um, not sponsored by them or anything, but I really enjoy their decals and everything like that that they have. So I will go ahead and put that in the description too. But, ooh, 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 ooh. dude, literally, I got this knife in a pawn shop in like Southern Georgia. <laughs> and I want to know what the story behind it is because it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. You've seen the Char one, there's a Neo Zeon one. That's really cool, nice, that I really, really want. Also, if you guys ever find any cool Char stuff, send it my way because uh, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> In case you didn't know yet. Pretty cool. It's got Kasumi Kawaguchi on it. That's actually really cool. The emphasis is clearly going to be here on all of the painting, which I think is really cool. So if you get the kit, you'll get a, if you get the kit, you'll get a little bit better look at this right here. But it's just your standard, regular pamphlet, everything like that. It seems to be a little bit nicer, like they paid a little bit more attention. You've seen one, you've seen them all. But the really cool part is the focus here on using all the different colors and painting it. So I think that's really cool. If you guys didn't catch it, um, I'm not sure if it's up, I don't think it is anymore. But during the Gundam Base Online Expo, they had a whole bunch of stuff with uh, Kasumi there. Like, it was really cool. There was a bunch of videos. I'm sure it's still up. You should probably go check it out. I'll leave those links in the description if they're still up there. Straightforward, standard, everything like that. Now, what makes this different? Um, honestly, it's looking like not that much. It's pure white and everything else seems to be straightforward. Like, it's just got the shield pieces here. It's got the clear pieces as well. Um, you have several different fins for the different modes. You know what? I've built Unicorn a good amount of times. I would say, whoo, I have quite a few of them. I've given away a lot of Unicorns. Like, this is just what I have. So here we go. I hope you guys can see that. Yep. So as you can tell, like, it's just pure white injection and then the rest are like primer gray, which leaves them perfect for painting. It's looking like they're assuming that the primer gray pieces are just ready to go. Now, I do have a video on it and I am gonna update it when I finish my Cubole project here. I would suggest still um, washing these to make sure that the injection mold, chemicals and things come off of it. Um, just different greases and everything like that, just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Here we go, here's the polycap pieces. They are a frosted color, which I think is pretty crazy cool. Everything else, just a regular generic, HG Unicorn, nothing too crazy. Like I can't tell anything like, it seems to be a little bit better quality than most HGs. It ought to be for a Gundam base exclusive, right? And yeah, like it's just very straightforward. I'm gonna do some closer up shots for this and everything like that. The clear parts. The clear parts are really cool. I think they're probably my favorite part of this whole thing. Now, this back here is telling us that you can paint these clear parts which I think is pretty cool. So I think I might play around with painting clear parts. Do you guys have any experience painting clear parts? Because I usually don't. I usually leave clear parts alone and I'll paint underneath them and then it'll come through. Um, but I've never directly painted clear parts. So if you guys have any tips on that, I am more than open to suggestions for that. But let me know what you think, like prep work and stuff like that. Mm. That right there is showing no real priming. So that's interesting. But look, we literally, we just have two more runners left. I'm gonna put these side by side and give you guys a little bit closer of uh, a closer view of it. I'm pretty impressed. You know what? It kind of looks like and feels like a little bit more like a real grade, which is good because I mean, it's a Gundam based exclusive. It should be a little bit nicer. But here are our only decals, dude. That's it. Just, just these, just the eyes and like, that's it. <laughs> the head pieces, that's it, that's everything. And she's done, like that's it. So, I mean, I don't know. 
What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit slower footage and everything like that so you guys can zero through it if you need to. But what do you guys think? Like the painting model is pretty cool. What should I paint it? What would you guys paint it? Are you gonna pick it up? Are you tired of unicorn? I'm a little bit tired of unicorn. But somehow I've been dubbed the unicorn like capital of the Gunflow world right now because I ha I've had quite a few unicorns sent my way. So honestly, you know what? I'm just gonna embrace it. Send me all the unicorns, I don't care. Just send me a plethora of unicorns, unicorns. Send me an actual unicorn if you want to, cause that just sounds cool. But <laughs> anyways, yes, again, you can fast forward through the footage if you want to. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer up of the actual runners. I try to do things a little bit differently. Everyone kind of gets tired of the same stale, stale content and everything like that. But yes, I am going to give you the better look of these. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna have a couple more videos come out this weekend to catch up on all the videos that I haven't posted. I have a backlog buster series. It's gonna be the Deep Striker. I have the Deep Striker and he's been sitting completely finished minus his head. And I wanna say a weapon, but I'm not exactly sure. So Deep Striker is probably one of the cooler ones. So we're gonna be doing that. I have another kit that I did get from Dave as well. It's really cool. It's a Granddaddy Gundam. It's really cool. It's a no grade and I'm excited about that one. And yeah, let me know. Like, what are you guys working on? What do you guys wanna see worked on? Anything like that. So stay tuned. Hit like, subscribe, follow, any of that. Any support is greatly appreciated. Thank you again for taking the time to watch my video guys and I will see you in the next one. I have the weirdest idea for another <laughs> video. Like, <laughs> like the weirdest idea that might rival my Gunflow Floor video. <laughs> and I don't know if I should do it because I have a feeling that I'm gonna get made fun of, but you know what? It's kind of my dream. So stick around if you wanna see my other ridiculous ideas because I am full of them.